Do I have mastitis or a plug duct? And they say dentists get the most disgusting questions. You usually don't have a fever with a plug duct, but if you do, it's low. What happens with mastitis? Mastitis is an infection and inflammation in the breast. Mastitis often comes with a high fever. What on earth causes this? Mastitis usually occurs in the first month, but it can happen at any time. A plug duct may be in the nipple or elsewhere inside the breast and can happen anytime. And both cause reduced milk flow. This must be what cows feel like when they haven't been milked. You get heat, pain and swelling in the breast too, due to the infection. If I have a breast infection, I don't want to give it to the baby. When you have mastitis, the milk may have lumps. You can strain that out, but it is safe for the baby. I never thought I'd need to strain breast milk. If you have a plug duct, you may see strings of thick milk when it unplugs. It's safe for the kid, but you need to express it even if you don't breastfeed. Because it hurts if I don't from pressure build up. Because fluids flowing through the ducts is like flushing out pipes to remove the gunk. And if you don't, you could end up with a breast abscess. Another term I'm glad I didn't know until now. Plug ducts may come from yeast infections like a baby's thrush infection, so the baby may have given it to you. Mastitis can come through sore nipples, infecting the breast. What do I do about it? Use hot compresses before nursing and cold compresses after nursing. That reminds me of the Katy Perry hot and cold song. Go ahead and breastfeed the baby as long as there's no pus or blood. If it's salty from mastitis, he might refuse it. With all I'm going through, he's going to put up with it too. Spoken like a true mother.